Thank you very much, President. Economic interests have become increasingly important in EU-China relations, sadly overshadowing the EU's commitment to promoting human rights across the globe. In this context, the urgency resolution we are debating today comes as a timely reminder that we can and must reverse this trend. This resolution underlines the need to shift our focus and finally engage in a meaningful discussion on the importance of fundamental freedoms in our bilateral relations. This is necessary if we wish to establish a sustainable partnership with China, our second biggest trading partner. Two Tibetans are named in the resolution, Tashi Wangchuk, a language rights activist, and the Buddhist monk Chokyi, have been imprisoned and subjected to inhumane treatment merely for defending Tibetan culture. No evidence has been presented against Mr. Wangchuk, while monk Chokyi's health is deteriorating without proper medical care. Such treatment is clearly in violation of the Constitution of China, which guarantees freedom of religion and upholds the rights of minority nationalities. The cases presented in this resolution have raised fears that Chinese criminal law might be abused to persecute minorities, and we should not remain silent on such developments. Rather, the EU must urge Beijing to end the repression of Tibetan culture through religious persecution, anti-Buddhist campaigns and the so-called patriotic education approach. In addition, it should call on the Chinese government to resume the dialogue on Tibet's status with the Tibetan administration and finally reach a solution that grants it genuine autonomy within the framework of the Chinese constitution.